Hiccup. This is Berk, son. It's our home. It was my job as chief to protect us, Hiccup. And one day, when you're all grown up, that job will be passed on to you. And it's very important, son, because out there, beyond the sunset, lies the home of the dragons. One day I'll get out there. Because killing a dragon is everything around here. Why can't you follow the simplest orders? I can't stop myself. I see a dragon and I have to just... kill it. You know, it's who I am. Stop trying so hard to be something you're not. Even as a boy, I knew what I was, what I had become. Hiccup is not that boy. You can't stop him, Stoic. You can only prepare him. Welcome to Dragon Training. Remember, a dragon will always Always go for the kill. But what I saw was proof of everything I believed. This wasn't a vicious beast, but an intelligent, gentle creature whose soul reflected my own. But the truth is, you won't always be around to protect him. He's going to get out there again. He's probably out there now. Okay there, bud. We're gonna take this nice and slow. Position. Three, no, four. No one just gets as good as you do. Go, baby! A special ear. Oh, this is amazing! Are you trying with someone? Stop! No! about teamwork. You have the heart of a chief, and the soul of a dragon. Atta boy! Only you can bring our worlds together. That is who you are. I am not listening to anything you have to say! Then I won't speak. Just let me show you. It's okay. Thank you. For saving my son. This is Burke. It snows nine months of the year and hails the other three. Any food that grows here is tough and tasteless. The people that grow here are even more so. The only upsides are the pets. While other places have ponies or parrots, we have dragons. You wish dragons to live free, among us, like equals? History has shown that we are the superior species. It does seem like the whole world knows about us now. And the more dragons we bring back here, the bigger of a target we become. Let's go find him and change his mind. This is what I'm good at. And, and if I could change your mind, I can change his too. Oh, some minds won't be changed, Hiccup. When all is said and done, this Young chief will bring me the night fury. They don't have a leader, just a boy. All of this loss, and for what? To become unstoppable? To rule the world? Dragons, they, they are kind, amazing creatures that can bring people together. Or tear them apart. You know he's like he won't give up. Just let me show you. No! Let me show you. I think it hot pick up so long as that night fury's in there. Son! Dad! No! 
good dragons, under the control of bad people, do bad things. It wasn't your fault, but they made you do it. He's not yours anymore. He belongs to the Alpha. I'm coming, Toothless! You still think he cares about you? Please, you are my best friend, but... How are you doing that? My best friend. He's challenging the Alpha! To protect you! Now do you get it? This is what it is to earn a dragon's loyalty. I was so afraid of becoming my dad. Mostly because I thought I never could. How, how do you become someone that great, that brave? A chief protects his own. I guess you can only try. A chief protects his own. He thinks he has to lead alone. Well, because his father had to. Son. He doesn't realize the strength you have together. Do you still believe in him? Of course. I wish he did. But he thinks he's nothing without Toothless. Your mom was the only woman for me. She was the love of my life. You and me as one. But with love comes loss. Son, it's part of the deal. Dad used to talk about an old mariner's myth of a secret land at the edge of the world where dragons live totally out of reach. What if it's real? It could be the answer to all of our problems. And abandon our home of seven generations? I know this is our home. My father left me to protect it. But Burke is more than this place. We are Burke, the people, the dragons. I say Burke is wherever we go. You are nothing without your dragon. Perhaps you all rely a little bit too much on your dragons. Not enough on one another. Look out! Thanks. You are the bravest, most stubborn, most determined knucklehead I know. Toothless didn't give you that hiccup. He just made it easier. And now it's going to be a lot harder. So, what are you going to do about it? Probably something stupid. You kill both of us! Fighting over a dragon? That's your plan? Save him. With her. We don't. And that's all right. Now that's a king. I was so busy fighting for a world that I want. I'm proud to call you my son. Thanks, Dad. I didn't think about what you needed. We've looked after us for long enough. Time to look after yourselves. Go on, bud. Lead them to the hidden world. You'll be safe there. Safer than you could ever be with me. I love you too. And I want you to be free. Oh, and I'm up here. I don't even feel the cold. Really? I just feel free. The world believes the dragons are gone. If they ever existed at all, hold your hands out. Like this. But we Burkians, we know otherwise. Let him come to you. And we'll guard the secret until the time comes when dragons can return in peace. <laughs>